with the hot temperatures. We wondered if Deschutes County might declare a heat emergency and open cooling centers. Isabella Warren explains the criteria. With temperatures consistently climbing into the 90s, hydration is one key to keeping up with the heat in central Oregon. It can be harder for older adults, for their bodies to um, respond correctly to sudden changes in heat. The Council on Aging of Central Oregon provides a space for seniors in the community to stay cool during the day. Medications and a higher risk for chronic illnesses make the senior population more vulnerable to heat-related complications. As we get older, our bodies can't handle extreme temperatures as well. That includes extreme cold or extreme heat. So. Um, the older we get, the more at risk we are for overheating. Deschutes County monitors the heat risk with information from the National Weather Service to determine if there is a heat emergency. With that declaration, cooling centers open to help those in need. An interactive map provided by Plant Maps can show you how long high temperatures will last in your area. Monitoring those levels and based off our duration of event is when we would recommend in coordination with our um, Sheriff's Office Emergency Manager Group whether we think you know a county level activation is needed for opening cooling spaces. There are multiple signs of someone experiencing heat exhaustion or dehydration to look out for. If you stop sweating, if you're not urinating as much, that is definitely an indication that you're getting dehydrated. Also, just the feeling of being hot. Sometimes people can have some altered mentation, um, have some irritability, and, um, and then, of course, start feeling faint, dizzy. Um, those are all times to immediately get, get hydrated, get in the shade, get cooled off, get in, get in the AC, and then, you know, with, with any new symptoms, seek medical attention. Checking in on older neighbors and friends who might not have air conditioning can help you prevent reactions like dehydration or heat stroke. The Council on Aging runs a Meals on Wheels program across Central Oregon where drivers can check on seniors who are experiencing trouble with the heat. That means that there are drivers who go out almost every day, if not every day, to check on all of our clients. And that is over 600 clients right now in Central Oregon. So that means they're getting a daily wellness check um, by someone. So on a day like this, that can be incredibly important. A heat emergency will be declared usually when there are consistently high temperatures for three to five days. Isabella Warren, News Channel 21.